Hello there guys, Bluebo10000 here, bringing you a quick pre-video message. And if you enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And make sure to check out the Game Show Central Discord channel, a Minecraft Community Game Show Discord channel down below, as well as my personal Discord, The Edge of Glory, where you can hang out with me and we can chat. And if you want to support the channel even further, please consider checking out my Patreon as I make my income off of YouTube, Twitch, and Patreon, and it would seriously help to ensure I can create videos in the future. Enjoy the video! Hello there guys, Billabo10000 here bringing you another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. This is episode 4 and we are starting chapter 1. After Monokuma and the Mono Cubs left, oh, an alarm suddenly rang from my monopad. Not just from mine though, the alarm was going off throughout the whole gym, which meant everyone else had received a monopad as well. When I took mine out, a message was displayed on the screen. Ultimate Academy e-handbook, Kaede Akamatsu. Regulations, this is the rules. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of their foreseeable future. Once a murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in a class trial. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the blackened is not exposed, all remaining students will be executed. If the Blacken survives the class trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Nighttime is from 10pm to 8am. The dining hall and gymnasium are off limits at night. Violence towards Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, is strictly prohibited. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. Your monopads are very important items, please do not damage them. The body discovery announcement will play when three or more students discover a body. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. Students who violate these rules will be immediately exterminated by the exorcels. God damn, a lot of rules. I like how they had all the little, um, little graphics to show each of the rules. It's so much more in depth than the, uh, the first two games where it was just the text. The headmaster may add new regulations to this list at any time. You gotta be kidding me. I know, right? I will never. I will never participate in a killing game. Never. Chapter 1. My class trial, our class trial, daily life. Ooh, fun. Here we go then. The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. School Regulations. So these are the rules. How? I do not understand why someone would force us to do this. But... But the rules are pretty cut and dry. This game doesn't seem like it'll be boring. You gotta be kidding me! That's not the problem! Listen. Please lower your voice. It is ruining the atmosphere. Oh yeah! Hey! Wait. Hey! Hey, what does this sixth regulation mean? I haven't done the voices in a few days, I've kind of the got- The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Pretty obvious. Only two surviving students? What would be the reason for that? That's... Perhaps... It's because you couldn't do a trial with just two people. I see, I see! I see, I see! You're so smart, Shuichi! Uh, quit screwing around! Killing game, school regulations. Don't screw around. To hell with all that crap! Who'd go along with something like that? Kaito raised the monopad as if to smash the device on the ground. Oh. Whoa, hey now, don't do that. School rules say you can't break it. Hmm. If you violate the rules, then the exorcels will dispose of you. What? I don't care about the rules. No way I'm gonna play this messed up game. No. This isn't about playing the game. It's too dangerous to disobey him now. Forget about him! Just means one less dumbass for the world to deal with. Shut up! Hey, who you calling a dumbass? I took a deep breath, then shouted with all my might. Oh, hey, quit fighting already! Whoa! 
What the? Jeez. We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. R right now, we need to work together. Hmm. Honestly, I'd probably be more inspiring if I played a song than gave a speech. Mm -hmm. Chopin's military polonaise would definitely help unite us. Right? Yeah, I could get behind some polonaise. And I don't even like meat or tomatoes. Right. I agree with Kaide too. We must remember who the real enemy is. Master told me that strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. Anyway, you're all panicking too much. Just stay calm like me. What is wrong with her? Himiko, my baby, stop, stop vibrating, please, Himiko. Wow, you're shaking so much. Really? Even I can't handle these intense vibrations. And trust me, I've got loads of experience. Hey. Anyway, why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time? But we looked all over that wall, and there wasn't a single hole. Please wait. Now, just wait a second. If there's no opening in the wall, then how did we get in here in the first place? <gasps> Oh, good point. Got it? That means there must be an opening somewhere. We just have to find it. Hmm. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each other. Oh, right. So let's show them we're not gonna let that happen. We're not gonna fight each other. We're gonna work together, okay? All right. Um. Wh why are you quiet? Did, did I say something wrong? I do not agree. On the contrary. You made your case with such succinct aplomb that we've been rendered speechless. <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Got it. You're exactly right. We can't give up so easily. Come on, come on. Let's split up and try to find the exit. Ooh. Oh, Atua, give us strength. Wow, well, impressive. I must admit, I admire your spirit. Hey. Oh, wait. Yeah? What is it? We were just about to get started. Um, um, maybe it not matter much, but going to find manhole earlier in grass behind school building. Huh? A manhole? Going to peek in, see big underground passage, think maybe it exit. But sorry, it's probably not so simple. <laughs> you gotta mention important stuff like that much faster. <laughs> Going to peek and see big underground passage, think maybe an exit. Uh, no. Wait, not like that. You're talking too fast. Either way. The boiler is behind the school building. We must corroborate Gonta's claim at once. Gonta, please, lead the way. Got it. Okay, everyone follow Gonta. And they're all gone. With Gonta leading us, we hurried out of the gym. Just when I was about to follow after them... Kaide, that was pretty cool back there. Huh? Huh? What was? How should I put this? The way you changed the mood completely. Seems like everyone looks up to you. Mm. Looks up to me? Come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke from the heart, is all. So in short. So it just comes naturally to you? And that's even more cool. <laughs> you have what it takes to win. Huh? What? That means. I was just thinking. What you said back there would have pissed off whoever's running this. They definitely don't want us holding hands, working together. I'm sure. They're going to come for you, Kaede. With everything they've got. I'm just a little worried about you. You're so... straightforward. Interesting. Uh, and away he goes. That guy could really stand to be less cryptic. That's true. Uh, perhaps it's a warning. That's what I think, anyway. Being strong-willed could get you into a lot of trouble around here. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time like this. No. It's fine. You only said that because you're worried, aren't you? But... Yeah, Rantaro is a mystery. He forgot his ultimate talent as well. Is that something you can really... forget? Mm -hmm. Well, there's no use thinking about it right now. We should just head to that manhole. Okay. Let's go! So they said the manhole was behind the school building in the boiler room? So I assume that means we have to go all the way around the school building. Let's go! Alright. 
I think we're back in the main part of the school. Yeah. And that's the dining hall. That would mean the exit is over hither. And away we go. Uh, looks like I can go both ways. Let's go this way. Yeah, there's a pathway that goes around back here. It was blocked off before, right? Ah. Yeah, we can get into somewhere from here. The backyard, it said. Whoa. What is this place? Man. Looks like we're all here. So where's this manhole? Um... Um... Over there, in grass. Alright. And now we're gonna do that thing in Danganronpa that we always love. Talk to every single character to get all the flavor text. <laughs> Whoa. Look at all these weeds. This place could definitely use a groundskeeper. Right, Keyboy? Please stop! Why are you telling me that? Furthermore, I would prefer you address me as Kibo. But... But you can pull weeds, right, Keyboy? Well, of course. I can do all sorts of things just as well as any person. Huh? As well as any person, but... And you're not a person. That's robophobic. Uh, th that's discrimination. Robophobic discrimination. Oh, bless him. What about you, Rontaro? How should I put it? We should investigate the manhole right away. If it's an exit, it's only a matter of time until Monokuma comes for us. Ryoma? What's wrong? Now it's not the time to be shouting and celebrating. Even if this really is the exit, it's all over if Monokuma catches us. That's right. I agree. We need to be quick about this. Uh, Krekio. Krekio. Krekio? The ground opens up before us as though inviting us downward. Once we are swallowed by darkness, will we be able to return to the light? <laughs> what about a rumor? Fucking slugs. Quit wasting my time, you kooky bitch! Hurry up already! Chop chop! What a bitch. Angie? It's like a super secret entrance! I'm so excited! Atua, says so. Atua is just as excited as I am! I know, cause he told me! Tenko? Uh -huh. Though it's hidden by grass, there's definitely a manhole over there! Typical degenerate male! You peeping toms love to find things you weren't meant to see! Kaito? So a manhole was hidden in a place like this, huh? Well, you can't hide stuff from the eyes of Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. But Gonta found it. Awkward. Kibo. There is a monitor here too. That aside, this is a rather remote location to install a communication device. It's a pointless expenditure, wouldn't you agree? I don't know. I wouldn't say pointless. Gonta? What wrong? Manhole in grass over there. Maki? What's wrong? Hurry up. Don't you want to escape from here? I mean, I do. Himiko? Yeah. Down the manhole, huh? Do you think there are creepy creatures down there? <laughs> What's there to be afraid of? Even if the rats are as big as cats, Himiko can just blast them away with her magic! It's impossible. That's not possible. If I use my magic down there, the entire passage might explode. Ooh. Oh, your magic is so powerful! I'll protect you! Well then, though I may be unworthy, I will protect you, Himiko! Hmm. Mm, I'll leave it to you. Bless. That's cute. It's adorable. We need to be careful, or those monsters might appear again. You're right. Yeah. Are you feeling down? Do you want some magical powder to cheer you up? No. It's not a dangerous kind of powder, is it? Tojo? What? what purpose does this facility serve? 
one would assume that with all this greenery would uh, interfere with the machine. Excuse me, I have hiccups there, sorry. One would assume that all this greenery would interfere with the machinery. Does this mean preparations were not completed before we arrived? Well, maybe that's just how it is. Um. So there's even grass out here? Uh, be careful of the roots, everybody. Alright, so the manhole then. It's true, there really is a manhole in the grass. <laughs> An important hole near some bush. Sounds familiar, am I right, lady? Ooh. Oh, this manhole cover looks heavy. Can we even lift it? Leave it to me. I can try. Kibo placed his hands on the manhole cover, and with all of his strength, he... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My apologies. How embarrassing. It won't even budge. Huh? A robot's not even strong enough to move it? Listen closely. Oh, don't worry. My physical strength is approximate to that of a strong senior citizen. That's Piece not good. Th that's fucking pathetic! I actually agree. <laughs> the, the professor did not want a repeat of the tragedy that occurred during trial production. Uh... Um, now I'm just plain curious about what happened during that trial. Allow Gonta. Oh, then allow Gonta. Gonta lift cover before to peek inside. Should be able to pick up cover too. Gonta placed his hands on the manhole cover and... <laughs> the fuck, Gonta? How? That's that's a scary amount of power he's got. So easily? Yeah. My strength must be due to my magic. Yep, there's no mistaking it. How the hell? He's like picking it up like it's like a coin. Oh, you're amazing, Himiko. What should Gonta do with cover now? Please leave it somewhere else. Be careful not to hit anyone with it. Oh, oh my god. Actually, Gonta no can do that. Very rude to litter. Oh, he's so precious! But with nowhere to dispose of the manhole cover, Gonta begrudgingly tossed it aside. That's adorable. I don't think a manhole cover counts as littering, but whatever he says. It traveled five yards, jeez. What wonderful strength. You could likely crush a child's skull with ease. Gonta never do that? How ungentlemanly! Gonta never do that! Gentlemen or not, no one would do that. But, but Gonter is so much more reliable than some bean-counting robot. Hmm. Are you talking about me? Because I can count many things, not just beans. It's not the point, Kibo. While everyone else was talking, I slowly peeked inside the manhole. It was too dark inside to see clearly, but I could feel cold, moist air drifting up from it. Actually, this place is kind of creepy. We're really going in there? Got it. I'm sure it's fine. At the very least, we won't die down there. I'll protect you! If anything happens, I'll protect most of you. But the degenerate males are on their own. Going to protect you. Then Gonta protect menfolk. It's true. Awfully quiet. We're a monokuma in the monocubs. I see, yes. I was certain they would show up at some point and crush us like rotten gnats. <laughs> they probably haven't noticed yet. I, I doubt that. Then let's hurry up before they show up to mess with us. One by one, we each descended down into the manhole. And down we go. But what do we find? Once we had all climbed down the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. Well, there's a sign that says exit. It's more spacious than I thought it'd be. Yoo-hoo! Yodelay! Yoo-hoo! What is it? What is this place? That is correct. An old industrial passageway? I suspect. Perhaps factories once existed here. Ah. And this is all that's left of them. Hey. Hey, take a look at this. The sign? <laughs> what a considerate sign. Apparently, the end of the tunnel is the exit. Um... Considerate? You don't think it's weird that someone went out of their way to write EXIT? <laughs> don't piss yourself in fear! Your natural scent is bad enough! <laughs> I'm not scared, and I smell just fine. Hey. Well then, go on ahead. No point standing around here. That's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. No need to worry. Mm. It looks a bit dangerous, but we're all ultimates here. Yeah, that's right. As long as we work together, everything will work out just fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Well said. That's exactly what I was gonna say. We're really on the same wavelength, Kaede. 
Oh god, I said Kaede. It's meant to be Kaede. No, Billy, stop. Stop adhering to the English dub. Give me a hug. No. Um, no. Ugh, degenerate Typical. Males. Degenerate behavior. You were trying to trick her into pressing her boobs against you. Okay. All right, we're going to go from right to left this time. So we'll start with Aruma. <laughs> You're too weak, Kibo. Let me remodel you, and I'll make you the strongest robot ever. That being said. First, I'll soup up your crotch plate by installing a nice thick one, just how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy weirdo. Oh, I went to Shuichi. Uh, okay. Uh, if we all work together, it'll be okay. I'm sure of it. Let's try Angie. You're so amazingly strong, Gonta. I want a piggyback ride. Well, that was interesting. Gonta. Hey. So it was Exit. Gonta, glad he tell everyone. Come, everyone. Gonta, protect you. Samugi? Um. We're going to escape from the underground passage? We should be careful of dangerous creatures. Does everyone have their protect gear? Hey, now. Just kidding. It was just a joke. No. Besides, something worse might show up. Was that a reference to Sayaka because she's got the same voice actress? The just kidding. Rontaro. Well, we've got to keep trying. Nothing's going to change if we don't try. Uh, let's go to Oma. Yodale, Oh, it echoes well. Must be pretty big then. Hey, hey. A giant underground passage is so exciting. I want to play hide and seek in here. Um. Hide and seek? <laughs> I am the master of hide and seek. You got me. As the supreme leader of an evil organization, I'm always on the run from the law. And over time, I just became a total pro at hiding. It's a lie. Just kidding. That was a lie. I see. Yeah, I thought so. But what if that lie was a lie? Piece of cake. Don't worry. If something happens, I'll you. then I'll protect the girls by using all the degenerate males as human shields. What's the matter? What's up? You want to give me that hug after all? No. No, not really. <laughs> hey, you don't gotta hold back. We're two of a kind, you know. Hey. Hey, you two, quit flirting. Can't you read the ad? Uh... We're not flirting. Well... You guys are annoying. Well, what about you, Maki? Wait, I don't want to go up the ladder. Because If we're going, let's hurry up already. It'll be a pain if Monokuma and his cubs appear. Karakio? Karakio? In any event... When Kokichi yodeled earlier, his echoes reminded me of tales told in mountain villages. They believe that voices echoing off the mountains are replies from Yamabiko, the spirit of... Ah, this may take too long. I shall save the rest for after we have safely escaped. Okay. Uh, Tojo. That is troubling. An underground passage that has not been in use for some time must be quite dangerous. But if everyone wishes to proceed, then I will do my best to support that decision. As a maid, she does what everyone else wants. It's pretty admirable, really. Hmm. It's quite dusty in here. Prolonged exposure to this polluted air might be detrimental to one's health. Huh? What? Polluted air bothers you? But you don't even breathe air, right? That's... Well, that is... While it's true that I do not breathe, I also do not like polluted air any more than you do. Okay. I see. Well, I have a function... Uh, you have a function for sensing poisonous gases. Well then, lead the way. No, I don't have that function. Do I look like a canary to you? Uh... What? You don't? Then you're even more useless than a canary. <laughs> About you, Himiko. I missed you. It's dark in here. If we're gonna keep going, we need a light. Uh... Then shouldn't you use magic to light it up? You know, like... Lumos, that's gonna get you sued by J.K. Rowling, or something. It'll but be okay. We should be fine without a light. Magic power is really precious. I need to save it for when we really need it. I see. Uh, okay. 
And Hoshi. Be careful. Even in this is a, even if this is a trap, all we need to do is fight and struggle our way out of it. It'll be dangerous, of course, but it's better than rotting away here. Fucking love him. It's my favorite. Well, I've talked to everyone. It'll probably be okay. There'll be an exit at the end of this, and once we reach it, this'll all be over. I just know it. I clung fiercely to that belief as we stepped into the tunnel. You're about to take on the Death Road of Despair. The objective is simple. Everyone works together to escape. Use the A and D keys to move left and right, and press W key to jump. You'll encounter plenty of traps set up to prevent you from escaping. If you hit a trap or fall off a ledge, that person will be eliminated and control will switch to one of the remaining students. If everyone is eliminated, it's game over, man. Oh sorry, didn't mean for things to get that real. For now, do your best to stay vigilant and reach the exit. Not that it matters. Ooh. That sounds like something we're not meant to win. This this definitely feels like something we're not meant to win. The explanation wasn't too... What do those blue lights mean? I don't want to touch those blue lights. I don't trust... Ah! Be careful. Damn. Leave it to me. This is it for me. Damn what the fuck? On my side. Oh my god. Oh, so if we jump, it... Sorry. Oh. Oh, I can do it. Ah! Ah! Oh, Mackie! Huh? Alright, this is just platforming. That's all this is. Huh? Huh? Oh, no! Leave it to me, I everyone. Do it. Ah! I miss I so this Kurumi! Yes, I'm up. Yes, I'm up. <laughs> ah! Oh, no! Kimiko! Oh. Ah! God damn, that's really difficult. Uh, what? I tried. As I slowly opened my eyes, it dawned on me that I had somehow lost consciousness. Uh, oh. Are you feeling all right? You're awake. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine, but what about everyone else? I looked around and saw the others sitting on the ground. Oh. Oh. Everyone sat in stunned silence. A sobering sadness filled the air. Oh, jeez. Jeez, this is quite the pity party you sad sacks are throwing for yourselves. Huh? Monokuma? Oh, and the kids as well. Wow, you all look exhausted. Poor things, I feel sorry for you. Aww. Sheesh, this place is filthy. It's murder on my cashmere skin. Hey! I bet Monodem is feeling lucky right now. His body's already a pe cheap piece of junk. Hey. Why don't you respond to him, Monodem? It'll liven things up a little, you know. <laughs> so you guys crawled out of your holes. I guess you finally noticed what we were up to. Noticed? I've known for a while that you guys would botch whatever escape plan you had. Huh? What? Um... Yeah, I also kinda pretty much knew too. What are you saying? That's a lie. Then? If you knew all along, then this was just a trap? You're the worst of the worst! Then there was no exit? You tricked us? Don't worry. No, there is an exit. So... I think you guys will manage to reach it if you all work together. Please. Yeah. There's nothing you 16 ultimates can't accomplish if you work together. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> try as many times as you want until you accept reality. <laughs> that was an awful laugh, I'm sorry. And they're gone. So long, farewell. Farewell. So we can escape if we work hard enough? Fucking moron! No way, you little moron! They'd be freaking out if we could actually reach it. Jeez. That's probably why they let us try. 
They wanted us to try the underground passage so we'd learn that escape is impossible. You got me. Instead of blocking off every exit completely, they left that little bit of hope. They want us to be desperate to go home, corner us mentally. Actually, that's just rotten. You might be right. But... Yeah, but we can't just give up. Yeah. Right, you guys? I mean, we've only failed once, you know? We can't give up this early, right? Okay. But isn't getting out of here impossible? That's not true. No, it's not. It may take one more try, or a lot more tries, but it's not impossible. Forget about Monokuma. It doesn't matter what he says to us. I'll get us out of here. I don't want to lose to him, and I don't want any of you to lose either. I refuse to lose to someone who would do those terrible things to us. You're right. Kaede. Mm -hmm. So let's all work hard to escape this place, together. And once we get out of here, and make it to the outside world, right? why don't we all stay friends? Um... F friends Yeah. Yeah. After going through an experience like this, I think we'd all be the best of friends. Right? I mean, it's not every day you get to meet other Ultimates. So what do you say? <laughs> that might not be bad. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. Then we've all the more reason to escape. This place, no matter what. <laughs> my body is ready. You can tell by how out of control my pit sweat is. I'm glad. Everyone. But... Isn't it premature to say what we'll do bef uh, after we escape? Assumptions are all a bit useless. Whoa. Jeez, you're clueless. Why am I not surprised that a robot can't read the air? That's robophobic. Robots can read the air. Thanks to innovations and pollutant detecting technology, I- Let's go. Anyway, it doesn't matter if Monokuma says it's impossible. We'll show him what we can do. That's right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It seems like a pain. But I guess I'll try. Yeah. yeah, let's work together. We messed up last time, but I'm sure it'll go well this time. It'll be okay. I'm sure we'll be fine. A divine wind will blow through and lift us to victory. Wonderful. Ah. Uh, Humanity is truly wonderful. The way you all confront adversity is beautiful. With our bonds stronger than ever, we stepped into the tunnel once more. Is this round two? This is round two. Let's see if we can make it further. Alright, the first one you have to jump over, right? The second one you don't. Wait. Everyone come back. Everyone come back. The entire group needs to come backwards. I want them away from that edge. No! Kaede! Okay. Oh, a rumor! Oh, it's okay. Sacrificing Saihara for the sake of everyone is probably a good idea. Someone needs to get hit by those bombs, I just realized. There's no way we're getting through without someone getting killed by them. Bayonara! What the hell was that? Sorry. Gonta? Leave it to me, everyone! Still. Wait, Hoshi! Maki! I'm sorry! Let's have fun I couldn't with do this. it! I shall go. So this is the end. Let us pretend I am a What the hell was that? What was that? We got completely destroyed again. When I finally woke up, searing pain coursed through my entire body. Yeah, we're back here again. Why is Oma smiling? I see. I lost consciousness again. Why? What the? And I was looking forward to a happy ending. Don't worry. Not yet. We're just getting started. Mm -hmm. uh, of course. This will be a piece of cake. You're... Going to gonna escape. Become friends with everyone. Gentlemen, never give up. Uh... This time, this time we'll reach the exit. This time, those words carried me as I stepped into the tunnel once again, but... Oh no, it was no good. Even so, we refused to surrender. 
We kept telling ourselves that this time we'll escape, but we failed each time. With every attempt, we repeated the words this time over and over again. But in the end, we couldn't do it. Jeez, we've got Rantaro, we've got Kaito, Gonta, Oma, Kurumi, and Saihara. I thought we'd be able to escape as long as we never gave up. Even Kibo looks upset, and he's a robot. But it made no difference in the end. <laughs> Failed again. Damn. Damn it. Seems like... I can't go on. That's wrong. Wait, we can't give up. This time we'll... Knock it off already. Huh? Huh? I don't like that. You're free to keep trying on your own, but forcing us to join you is practically torture. T torture? That's so mean. You know what really hurts? Being denied the right to give up in an impossible situation. You won't let us give up, and no matter what we say, you have the moral high ground. That doesn't sound like torture to you? When you say we can't give up, you're not inspiring us, you're strong-arming us. That's wrong. I, I didn't mean it like that. Hey, degenerate male. Quit being so selfish. Please don't. I'm not being selfish. The others feel the same way too. Huh? What? Everyone's pretty fucked up, yeah. Everyone? My spirit is nearly broken. This hardship gnaws at me. Given the circumstance, the most logical course of action would be to give up. Hisashi Mitsui in the second half of a basketball game. I knew this wasn't possible from the start. <laughs> this bullshit is a waste of my precious time and energy. I can't let you all rely on my magic. Besides, I don't have enough MP left. Oh, that's where that voice clip comes from. I'm just relieved that no one was seriously injured. Praise be to Atua. Okay. Wait! P please, wait! We... no can give up. Hey guys. You guys, are you really okay with not getting out of this place? We shouldn't have to push ourselves. Let's just find another way out, okay? Huh? What? No way. You're talking about the killing game, aren't you? Oh, oh so you're gonna interpret it like that, huh? You gotta be kidding me! What are you saying? There's no way we can do the killing game! <laughs> Calm down. Want some bubble gum? You can blow pretty big bubbles with it. Uh -huh. Looks like this little degenerate wants his head smashed into the ground. Wait! So stop, guys. We shouldn't be fighting. Jeez. We fell apart pretty quickly for a group that decided to be friends and work together. Sorry. I'm sorry. This is my fault. I'm sorry. Uh, um... No, Kaede. Dumbass. Idiot. What are you apologizing for? It's not your fault at all! Hmm. Really? I think it's Kaede's fault. What? W why Oh? This is an announcement! Are these guys the ones in charge of the nighttime announcements then? This is an official announcement from the uh, the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. It is now nighttime! It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime officially starts now. It's yeah. day time. Whether you've been good or naughty, it's time to go tinkle and go to Betty Bar. Please be careful. The dining hall and gym are locked during nighttime, so be careful. Bedtime sign. All right. Oh, nighttime, huh? Well, no sense pushing our luck. We should probably just get a fresh start tomorrow. Huh? Fresh start? What do you think? We've each been assigned a room in the dormitory. Perhaps we should rest there? <laughs> oh, we're gonna rest there? What's wrong? The rooms aren't that bad. Much better than my prison cell, that's for sure. <laughs> but it makes me nervous to think we'll be staying the night at this creepy school. Okay. Well, nothing we can do but suck it up. So what's our plan for tomorrow? Since the dining hall opens at 8 a.m., how about we meet there at that time? That's right. Sure. I think that'll work. I'm okay with that. It's decided. Can we go to our rooms already? Either way. Yes. We should get as much rest as we can and regain our strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if I can go pee by myself in the middle of the night. I'll come with you, if you don't mind, that is. Just let me know. Oh. Hey, guys. Just as a warning. How should I put this? We shouldn't let our guards down. 
We'll be easy targets at night. You mean? Because of killing game, you mean? Please wait. I see no need to worry about something as illogical as murder taking place here. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Just a warning. Just Kaito and Shuichi. I mean... Hey, why'd you apologize before? You didn't do anything wrong, you know? Um, well, when we tried to escape, I felt like we were united behind a common goal. But after I put everyone's lives at risk, that unity is gone now. Seriously? Come Shut on. up. That's not just the stupid end result. It's not like you wanted it to go that way. Listen up, don't apologize for something that's not your fault. It'll just make you feel bad. Everyone just decided to blame you and give up. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind later. Ugh. Well, anyway, let's just go to sleep for now. See you tomorrow. See ya, Kaido. Thank you, Kaito. Shuichi? Uh, um... Kaido, I don't think you need to worry about what Kokichi said. You weren't pressuring us, at least. I don't think so. Uh... Yeah, thanks, Shuichi. But I'm exhausted. Let's just go back to our rooms and rest. You're right. Right. Well, see you tomorrow. Damn. That's depressing. Can I go through on my own? No. I bet if you beat that, it's like an alternate ending or something. If there actually is an exit there. What's the matter? What's wrong, Gonta? You're not going back to the dorms? Oh, I love this nighttime music. Wow, this is really good. Um... Gonta worry about manhole. Think it okay with cover gone? What if someone fall in, get hurt real bad? Has Gonta gentlemen? Gonta gentlemen. Gentlemen no can ignore that. But Kurumi tell Gonta leave cover off. Gonta not know what to do. Um... Everyone knows it's here, so I'm sure we'll all be careful. Don't worry about it. You're right. Okay, you right. Maybe Gonta just keep eye on it. Thank you, Kaide. Gonta, go back to room now. Good night. Yeah. Yep, good night. Gonta may look scary, but he's actually a very kind, innocent soul. Yeah. Can we get coins from here? Oh, we can. We don't get any coins for knocking him out, though, which sucks. Damn. Speaking of which, we haven't seen the school store yet, as far as I'm aware. Oh, it looks like there's someone on the map. The yellow dots, I think, mean there's someone on the map. So it looks like there's someone down here. Oh, that links up to the dining hall. That's cool. I didn't know that. Hello, Karumi. Are you feeling all right? Is something the matter? Please rest and try to regain as much strength as you can. Escaping this place will prove to be quite difficult. Best not to fret over it. No problem, Karumi. I'll take your advice to heart. Oh, Samugi and Himo uh, Himiko. Seems like... <sighs> Seeing it like this, the school really is eerie. It's an interesting place in the day, but having to stay the night is too much. It actually it is quite creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it, it feels really, like, weird. What about you, Himiko? With my magic. If you can't fall asleep, I'll put you to sleep with a magic hammer. Rest in peace. That would be an eternal sleep. <laughs> Himiko, please, we don't want you to be the person who starts the killing game. Can we not have that? I, I, you're my waifu. You're my day one waifu. I'm hoping you survive. You're my day one waifu. Please don't be the first murderer. <laughs> Because she seems like the kind of person who could be. That or Hoshi, if we're going by the stereotype of Teru Teru sort of character style. Ah, uh, I'm nervous. I like all these characters. I like every character. This is annoying. I thought there'd be a character I just despise, but I like them all. Fuck. I'm probably going to cry when some of them die. I know I am. Uh, so this is my room. Well, it's not too shabby. Huh? A key? Is this the key to this room? It must be. Oh, hi, Monica. Bingo! Bingo! You got it right! Nice work! That is, in fact, the key to this room! You probably don't have anything worth stealing in here. 
but you should still lock your door when you leave. Yeah! Alright, now it's time for me to give you a special hint. If you steal someone else's key, you can sneak into their room and kill them easily. That's wrong. Shut up. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> and he's gone. Jeez, this place is the worst. I just want to go home. Can I break stuff? I can. Give me money. Closet. Huh? Is this a closet? I guess I'll take a look inside just to be safe. Huh? What is this? Inside there were uniforms that matched the one I was wearing. Lots of uniforms. Did they prepare all these? They prepared everything just to keep us trapped here, but why? God damn. It's a monitor for communicating with us, but there's nothing displayed right now. Okay. Anything else? I guess the bed. <sighs> I'm tired. As soon as my body hit the bed, my body immediately froze. After everything that happened, I forgot just how physically and mentally exhausted I was. I thought we would achieve our goal as long as we didn't give up. That had always been my mentality whenever I practiced the piano. But maybe playing piano is easier. Because I'm blessed with that talent. With Chopin's prelude playing in my head, I fell into a deep sleep. Oh my god, it's Monokuma Theatre! Ah! What the fuck? Is this a Texas Chainsaw Massacre ripoff right here? New students of the Ultimate Academy! Congratulations! The weeds here have grown thick with joy, as if celebrating your entrance into this school! Seeing your anxious eyes shine with murderous intent makes me oh so happy! If you ever feel lost, don't be shy! Talk to your friends or a teacher! Let's all get along! And let's do lots of killing, too! I pray for the physical and mental well-being of this new killing school semester! I mean, I pray for the well-being of you students. Yes, that will do. Monokuma's voice is a lot higher, so I'm trying to do a lot more high-pitched moments with him. Oh, it's morning. Sign. This is an announcement. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Yeah. Bitches, time to wake up and face the blood-drenched day. So... I wonder who's dead this morning. Stop it. If I suddenly see a dead body, I'll puke again. Have fun. Enjoy your killing school semester. Mm. All right. It was all some terrible dream. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Wait, I don't have time to joke around. I said I'd meet the others in the dining hall. Everyone must be waiting. I need to get to the dining hall ASAP. Alright, and that's where I'm going to end this episode off. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Danganronpa V3, uh, Killing Harmony. If you're enjoying this series so far, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to upvote if you're watching on VidMe. And uh, if you want to support the channel even further, make sure to check out my Patreon link down below, as it helps support the channel and keeps me creating videos. So... Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.